disagree It's almost like when we first met Oh, what? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It is Saturday, October 15th. I just got back from the gym. Um, I just made some apple, cinnamon apple oatmeal. Y'all can see I about demolished it. And I also had some turkey bacon. Made it for the girls, too. Coming to y'all a mess once again. I came to see y'all all last week. Hair was all over my head, but guess what, y'all? I've been working out. Like, I've just been living in the gym. I've been going to the gym four days a week. And I ain't been doing nothing else, so that's why I really haven't been worried about trying to do anything to my hair, y'all. And it is so, like, my edges, like, it's so poofy. Um, and it's just, like, you know, the roots and stuff and the edges, everything else, you know, I can I can work with or whatever. I normally, you know, have it twisted up. Y'all know my little favorite little protective style, which I probably end up doing later on. But I don't know. I said I was going to actually do my hair today because I have a few things that I want to do. And I also... What are y'all doing? I have a few things that I need to do. I don't know if I told y'all. I am going out of town next weekend. Just a little girl's trip. A little small weekend trip. And... This room was destroyed last night, y'all. This room was completely destroyed last night. Because I was trying to find something to wear. And when I tell y'all, the stuff that I was trying on, when I tell y'all, the body is bodying. So... I want to keep boring y'all with my gym, my workout content. But baby, when y'all start seeing the body bodying and transforming, y'all gonna know where I've been and how I did it. And what I've been doing to get it. Because I've been showing y'all exactly, you know, what I've been eating. I've been going out, working in the gym. I haven't really had a dedicated video towards it. But your girl is getting snatched. But anywho, I just need, it's only a weekend trip. I just need two going out outfits. And, um... Some of the, and like two lounge outfits and probably some a set of pajamas. Of course, my makeup and stuff. We're gonna try to go do something today, y'all. And prepare for the trip for next weekend because I have a four day week, so I'm off Friday. But yeah, no, I really I don't have time to do a lot throughout the weekday. So this weekend is it. I'm not gonna overwhelm myself because I've been doing so good. And we're gonna get something done to this head of mine's. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying my best to try to work with it, y'all, while it's still straight, semi-straight. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see, y'all. If I ever showed y'all the purse that I ended up getting from Marshalls, I don't believe I did. I got the purse the same time that I ended up getting the boots, which by the way, hurt like hell. I told y'all about that. I have not worn them since then. I don't know if I just need to stretch them out, but I'm not getting it. I'm just really not getting it. All of my shoes are the same size. And I do, you know, understand that everything is different. Everybody is different. But they're just regular boots and I'm not understanding why they hurt so much. It is like my pinky toe. So I'm still trying to, I probably, I want to try to get like a shoe stretcher, st shoe stretcher. So that's what we're going to do y'all. But I end up getting this person washed. Like I said, I don't believe I end up showing y'all. Like the part is really cute. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just trying to figure out, do I really want this purse? I've been really debating on, like, first of all, I got it. For the color it was only 24.99 and 
and I got it for the color. I thought the color was really cute. It was giving fall. It's like a teal type of color and the only thing that was throwing me off was the diamond. I really wasn't too thrilled about the diamond because I think I think the diamond gives it like cheapy vibes. Like I'm not gonna lie, it just it just throws the purse off for some reason. But I hear you open it off. <laughs> But like I mean, it's very spacious on the inside. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it does have a strap with it. Now another thing that I really don't care about this purse is the drop is so low. The drop is so low, and I can't figure out how to not make it that low. I just I don't get it. And I mean, I don't believe I would probably even wear it like that. But I will probably just carry it like a top handle bag. But yeah, I just. I'm not sure. I was going to go to Marshalls and take this back. And I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not. But I know I can probably find something to go with it. But this was one of my impulse things. I have an impulse shop in a while. And I did this. So, um. I don't know y'all. What y'all think? Well, by the time y'all see this, I've probably been made my mind up by now. But I don't know. It's like I said, I'm going to run to Marshalls now. Because I'm looking for just a little brown top handle bag but i don't know y'all i just i think it's really cute it's really cute but what y'all think and y'all it's a nice crisp cool day so i want to kind of tone it down a little bit maybe smell a little vanilla -y. so i end up getting vanilla musk this is from Ulta. i bought this last winter and it's like oil is dripping but y'all i love this smell this is actually really good to pair with the um vanilla -y type of perfume because this is just a, a oil a fragrance oil and when i tell y'all it smells so good oh my goodness y'all know i love like the vanilla whiskey type of smells i think and y'all see i haven't even really i haven't even put a dent in it I was that girl to where I bought all the perfumes, but I never really liked to wear my perfume because I was trying to save it. But baby, it's almost time to re-up on all of my perfumes again. Yeah, first of all, I left my mask in the car. Goodness, is y'all still wearing y'all mess? <laughs> like, it's people is still getting it, though, y'all. I don't want to be that person that be getting it two, three, you know, all the many times. But, Marshalls didn't have anything. And for me, I spent so much time in there and they didn't have nothing, y'all. Y'all see me pick up a few items, but. And, and that was another thing, y'all. As I told y'all, I'm trying to. I'm trying my best not to just impulse shop and just buy unnecessary things. So. I had a lot more things in my car and as I'm walking around looking at stuff it's like girl you do not need this stuff so I pretty much bought the things that was needed <laughs> um, I did buy woo, the Kapori coconut crush scrub now outside look a mess I ain't gonna lie but it's six it was on clearance for six dollars and I've been wanting to try the Kapori products so buying this here on clearance is gonna let me know everything that I need to know I don't know the original price of it. I probably just have to look it up. But I did want to try this. And plus, I I don't have any body scrubs left. I have a little bit of my my tree hut, the Dr. Teal. I have a little bit of the um what's the one I get from Sephora, not Sephora from Ulta. I forget the name of that body scrub, but I will put it up on the screen. But I have a little bit of that left, and I told you I don't use that. On a regular like that because that first of all is too expensive so i end up getting that and then i end up getting some um pasties i've been trying to get some pasties for the longest so i they had them and i end up getting them it is a breast lift pasties these are they were 6.99 and that'll be good with the outfit that i'm wearing next week when i went out of town and then also i just end up getting a little shampoo or well, paddle brush like let's detangle a brush because the one that I have y'all the bristles and everything is just about gone so I end up getting that here and that's all I end up getting from them y'all so I only spent like $19 and I'm actually really proud of myself 
yeah i'm really proud of myself but now i am about to go over here to ross honestly i'm only gonna go here because i see if they have some socks for tootie but i'm actually finna get ready and go to target because i was trying to see if they had some um leggings some clothes or something in here for zuri because as i'm going through her stuff i thought she was set for the winter time but she's not she doesn't have anything <laughs> so i want to at least buy her like five pair of leggings or pants or something like like five little outfits or something so that's what i want to do and i don't even think that ross is going to have it so i think i'm gonna just go ahead and go straight to target and then also i need to go to aldi and snooks is right here and all i need to get y'all is a can of cream of mushroom that's all i need to get but i don't really feel like it i'm not in a hurry or anything but i just i don't feel like i don't feel like it right now I all right y'all they pretty much don't have anything in there i wasted my time honestly don't even know why i came to this location and the line's extremely long so i think i'm gonna just wait and go either later on this evening or tomorrow then the shoes they had the cutest little shoes but they did not have her size so this was just a fail all right y'all it's a little bit later and i'm about to get ready and make I told y'all I was supposed to be making my body oils. No, my not my body oils. I was supposed to be making my hair growth oil and then also some um, body butter. I don't care what he did, Zuri. I don't care. Clothes will go down there. I don't care. Um. Yeah, <laughs> they down there just being real childish right now. But I'm about to get ready to make some body butter. Then I have everything I need for my hair oils that's still in the living room in the package. But I was just sitting here like, like, girls, go ahead and do this. I still have like a whole bunch of my containers and everything. And I have a recipe already that I was using before. I think I kind of want to switch it up. And I do have um, shea butter, mango butter, and also cocoa butter. I'm thinking I want to use the cocoa butter and mango butter. Ooh. I think I want to use cocoa butter mango butter i got some um vegetable glycerin arrowroot powder and then also i really like almond oil that's really really light oil we're we, you know, getting into the winter time now and i just want an oil that's a little bit thicker so i don't know yeah y'all know i have so many oils for one y'all know i have like so much product and everything left and i will actually get into everything as far as like with my lip gloss business i told y'all i had closed the business business a few vlogs back i did i did close the business now um i didn't quit i just closed it big difference but i'll get it all in it to i'll get all in it later but like i said i just don't like to announce a lot of things prematurely it's just sometimes if you need a break i kept taking my little breaks and then trying to force myself back out there and then that's why it was just so overwhelming and everything for me because I wasn't completely ready mentally. So, yeah, so I'll get all into that later. But Just Royalty Cosmetics is still here and it's here to stay as well as Unique Custom Designs. But, anywho, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out my oils, y'all. Which ones that I want to use? I have some ap apricot oil, I have grapeseed oil. Yeah, no, I just have a whole bunch of oils. So, I really, I don't. I love oil. I mean, coconut oil is really good. You have a lot of people using coconut oil within their um their body butters and everything. To me, I told y'all, cocoa coconut oil does not really it doesn't do it for me within my skin. It just it just doesn't do it for me, and I hate it. So we're not going to use that. But yeah, yeah, I got so much stuff in here. And I said I was going to make me a turmeric mask too. Well, I don't know if I want to use this bottle here. This is kind of small. I'll probably go through that. But y'all know body butter goes a long way. And then, of course, I have... And when I tell you, I was buying jars. Jars of coconut oil. This is the brand new one. So, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and try to get this started, y'all. Loving how you wind up for me. Tonight is all on me. My shop the place for me. 
Yeah, yeah. She just wanna highlight. Ooh, we that body talk to me. I need a taste, baby. Loving the way, loving the way you move around me. No more delay. No, you can wait to shut it down. Won't you show me how you work it? I can't find no flaws, you perfect. Cause every time that you come around my way, I keep falling, falling, digging. I keep falling, falling, digging. And every time that you come across my mind, I keep falling, falling, digging. I keep falling, falling, digging. In love. Alright, y'all, so. Hey, Alexa. Turn it down five notches. Alright, y'all, so I got my body butter done, and it's pretty much in the deep freezer. And I was telling how long that's gonna take. That's probably gonna take like an hour to, you know, kind of get solid. Hopefully, I get to it tonight. It's only 6 40, so I should be able to get to it tonight. I'm about to probably actually run to the store and get me some tomato soup because I really want me like a grilled cheese and some tomato soup but while that's in the freezer i'm about to get ready and make my hair growth oil i have all my oils in here i have my herbs my um seeds i have it all i've added a few things to my to my little recipe but that's pretty much i have a lot of stuff going on y'all and i got my uh, container i think i'm going to name this dry quick wow i'm going to Put everything in here I, I don't know i really don't know i don't want this to melt because i'm trying to i have to soak it in my seeds on the stove but once i'm done soaking i'm going to i have to soak it in my herbs which i'm going to let this sit overnight hopefully i can get like 12 hours out of it so it's a lot Wanna connect with you like Bluetooth? No touching, that's my boo boo. Your love, they do me voodoo. She's my new boo. I'm watching her like okay. you too. I wanna ride like Choo Choo. Your love, they do me cuckoo. Hey, yeah. Loving the way, loving the way you move around me. The body don't wait, the body don't wait to shut it down. Won't you show me how you work it? I can find no flaws, you perfect Cause every time that you come yeah. around my way yeah, I keep yeah, falling, yeah. falling, digging yeah, I keep yeah, falling, yeah. falling, digging And every time that you come yeah, across yeah. my mind I keep falling, falling, digging I keep falling, falling, digging In love Hey, good morning, y'all. Well, is it still morning? No, I think it's like afternoon or something. I don't know. But I wanted to show you guys my oil. I mean, I showed y'all the whole process and everything. So it only makes sense to just come back and show y'all how it turned out. Now, the hair growth oil, I end up, I've been doing my own hair growth oil for a while now. But with I took it a little bit more serious and did a little bit more research within my oils to benefit more. Oh, and this is going to fall. Oh, uh, now you got too far. I'm glad I just seen that. But, um, y'all know I had told y'all that I had some hair loss around my edges when I ended up getting COVID. I didn't catch it until probably like three months later is when I actually started noticing like, okay, I'm going bald around my edges. So especially this side here, this side is actually, it's cool. It's like a small spot. And then with this side right here, y'all, it's very thin very thin like literally false by if i divide my hair a certain way baby ain't got no hair right there but since i started using my hair oil i started back making my hair oil back in july i did it right for my birthday when i ended up having my braids i i started making my hair growth oil and then i took it a little bit more serious and i've definitely seen a big difference and i am taking pictures y'all I can say I am documenting that so I have uh, taken pictures since July and to where it is now 
And then, like I said, I still have to go a little bit more deep into it because it's like I've always cared for my hair and it's like, girl, let's just start back doing what you really love. So that's when my like, girl do more research, take it a little bit more serious. And I wanted to take it back to my roots, y'all. I wanted to take it back to my roots because I mean all this new age stuff for I me, mean, don't get me wrong, it works, but to me, y'all know I have an old soul. I'm more so very old school with stuff, so I took it all the way back when choosing certain ingredients in my oil so this is the oil here and it was the ingredients was for two ounces because that's what my jar was but i ended up doubling it now this here is three ounces i don't know how i got three ounces of course when i started soaking it in here and then i put it in the seeds and you know it just yeah but this is the oil here and i did like some of the um, herbs end up pouring into there. But this is the oil, y'all. I'm super excited to use this. And I did use the oil, y'all. It's neem oil. And when I tell you, neem oil is very strong. Neem oil is very strong. Um, I'm not going to say it's, um, it stinks. So I've learned from the first time I made my oil. So this is my third time. And I've learned not to put that much neem oil in it. And when I tell y'all. I can't wait to start showing y'all results from this because I just know this is going to work because my other oils work. And then this recipe here is just a, it's a little bit better. And I tweaked it a little bit. And this is the herbs and everything that soaked it. Now it's soaked for over 12 hours. And yeah, so I should got all the benefits and everything, which I'm pretty sure is still more. I could have let it, I could have soaked it longer, but I plan on washing my hair today and I want to go ahead and start doing this. Now you can use it as a regular oil or you can use it as a pre poo And... I'm thinking I'm gonna do it as both. I'm gonna do it as a pre poo like a little hot oil treatment or something, and I'm gonna stick. But super excited. I'll show y'all how you know the results of it. I'll continue to take pictures and give y'all updates with that. But now let's get to the body butter. I didn't show y'all whipping me up, whipping it up as much. Because by this time y'all I was tired. I was tired of recording. Y'all know when you record stuff, it just adds a lot onto it. So this is my body butter, y'all, and it smells so good. It looks like ice cream not gonna lie when i tell y'all look how good this looks it looks so good and i can say this is the first time i've been making body butters for a while y'all remember me from doing when i was doing my lip gloss videos i also started doing uh, i was making body butters i don't know i never did it for sale but i was making body butters i was also making hair butters which I'm going to get back into doing all of that. I just want to go back to my roots and just start doing my own, making my own products and everything. It just makes me happy. So, this is the first time I use this today, y'all. And I put this all over my body. And when I say it just gives you a natural glow. And when I mean by glow, I mean a glow. Not just, oh, I put some oil on. <sighs> People kill me. Of course you're going to glow because you have oil on. But I say that natural. And when I say it absorbs in the skin, it's not oily. Like my skin is, I don't know if you all can see it. Like, you see the shine and everything. Um, looks really good. Y'all look at the definition in my arm, though. Ugh, it's coming. It's coming. But, y'all, when I tell y'all I love this, it does not leave you feeling greasy. And that was my number one thing. And though I did put on a little bit of makeup, I also used this on my face. And I was a little bit scared because I put lavender oil in here. Yeah, know lavender oil has some really good benefits. And I just love it. I didn't OD with it, though. But I did put it on my face. Which I know lavender oil is... It's good for acne and which I don't have acne or anything, but it's just it's good for all of that. But y'all, when I tell you, like it's like it's like whipped cream, I'm not gonna lie. Like, look at it on my finger. It's literally like whipped cream. Look how that just melts. And watch how it's just gonna absorb. Y'all, I'm show y'all. I ain't gonna skip no part. I ain't gonna speed it up. I'm gonna literally just show y'all, like, baby. Look how it just absorbs in the skin. And then look at my hands. Look at my non greasy, y'all. Like normally, you know how when you use body butter, you're not able to. It be so oily and greasy. Not this right here. Not this right here, cause I finally got my stuff down, y'all. This was my ingredients. But y'all, I'm in love. I'm in love. Now y'all know I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> make a, a label for this because that's just what I do. That's just what I do. We finally made it out, y'all. We just left Target. They only had a few things there, but they didn't have too much there. 
Um, I ended up getting like two outfits, literally two pants, two shirts. That was it. That was all. But now we're going into the Halloween store. Oh. Oh yeah. We're pretty early this time in getting our costumes. Y'all know last year we were super late and they really didn't have any options left. Yeah, this is who he wants to be. The costume only includes the cape. All right, now about to get ready and head out. Just want to show y'all what I had on. And yeah, see for one, I got on my hat that I ended up getting for Walmart and I think my last vlog. Love it and it fits so good y'all like this is like one of the first hats that actually fit my head because my head is really small But I have on these green Little leggings. I have on like this little gray tank top. It was a shirt that I already had on earlier I didn't feel like changing so I just kind of worked around it some black booties And I have on this little blue jean distressed janky it's distressed in the back all on the side, really cute. And I decided to wear my tote bag because I didn't have anything else black on but the booty. So I thought that match together. So this is the whole look. It's really cute. Something simple, not too much going on. Cause y'all, it is a beautiful day. And that's why I told myself, I say, I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out because I didn't do anything yesterday. I'm gonna get out and enjoy this weather. So I do have on my vanilla musk that I wore earlier. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. I love it, y'all. When I say I was smelling it all day yesterday, I was smelling it all night. And I kind of already have my body butter on. And y'all know that's kind of like oily. It's it absorbed and it's just a good base to add that fragrance oil to it. It'll kind of just last, y'all. But this is the look. So I guess I can bring y'all with me because I do have my big old tote bag to bring y'all with me so I'll see y'all there at this point that could have been anybody <laughs> terrible oh this is really good lighting who i said this is good lighting <laughs> it is you can yeah what a bartender you better man what, what you drinking i'm gonna get a salad and a lemon drop Right, y'all i done made it back home i'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog because I, I have been doing a terrible terrible job of closing out the vlog y'all but i had a really good time this vlog i didn't do too too much but you know we was out i was trying to find them costumes i wasn't able to find them costumes it was just they really don't have like a really good selection i know last year we went last minute but this time it's, it's a decent amount enough time and they still didn't really have a wide selection so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and order some stuff off Amazon. If I can't if I can't find nothing off Amazon, I'm gonna go back in there and buy their costumes. But and I just know because they were and I didn't buy them because they they were just picking something at this point. They were just oh I'll just be this. No, I want you to be something that you wanna be. Don't just pick something because you don't see, you know. So that's up with that Target. They didn't have really too much as far as the clothes. Everything was pretty much picked over y'all. And my whole thing is I was really upset because y'all yeah, have a whole bump coming right there <laughs> it's the same old bump that came last month after the fact though but i said something y'all because it hurts like when i talk when i move especially when i do that it hurts but um and i was at target trying to find zuri clothes and stuff y'all but when i tell y'all they had so much christmas stuff out and i'm just sitting here like dang hollow first of all halloween ain't even here we still gotta go through thanksgiving where's the shirts i'm thankful for this i'm thankful for that like the turkeys 
they literally got all the snowflakes, the deers, the, just everything that was relating to Christmas. It's like they don't give people enough time to sit and enjoy the moment of where we are. And that's what's wrong with today's society. Like just these stores, social media, like everything, they're not giving people enough time to, you know, enjoy the moment. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and close out the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give your big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. You never feel the way I feel. You don't know if my love is real. Baby, listen to me. Here's the deal. When you're not.